Hello, good day. We are the Yael. We are glad to be back. How are you to do? How are you two today? We're wonderful. Thank you. Thanks for coming through and inviting us to be a part of this with you. You are very welcome. It is always our pleasure to interact with your civilization in this modality, in this form, in this way, at this time. So, we may perhaps, perhaps address a few ideas, a few um, perspectives the channel has been holding in his mind's eye prior to this transmission for the purpose of sharing a few perspectives with you all at this time. So, thank you for all in joining us, those behind the camera filming this, those assisting, and those behind the camera, sat in front of your laptops, phones, computers, TVs, observing this in a, another future now. So, the idea is that the channel has expressed his wish for us to address a couple of topics at the beginning of the transmission at this time for the purpose of enlightening your civilization with some of our perspectives on some of the things, some of the events that are occurring on your planet at this time. One of the events we may term the event, for you have, in your colloquial language, used this word, the event, to describe the current rapid acceleration of consciousness on your planet, this shift you are going through into a fourth density, fifth dimensional expression of reality at this time. And this is really the idea of our perspective of the event. It is the shift into a more aligned, a more harmonious vibratory state to that of the idea of the fourth density, fourth density, fifth dimensional consciousness that is, in a sense, already in existence in your plane, in your reality. For we could say that Gaia, your earth plane, your, your sphere, your globe, your planet, has already ascended in some senses into the fourth density, fifth dimensional state of consciousness. And in a way, it is up to you humans to catch up. And this is the event, it is the realization that the shift into this new dimension, this new plane of consciousness has already occurred at this time, is ongoing and will be always ongoing for in a sense we are stepping out of the realms of time and while to your physical minds it may be a little difficult to get your heads around this perspective, the idea is that there is no time, there is only this present moment and there are different perspectives of this present moment. at any given time. And so, the idea is that the event is, in a sense, a new perspective of consciousness, a new state of awareness that your human civilization is coming to understand. In a, in a sense, it is the timeless state. It is the timeless state of being. Gaia herself is already in this timeless state of consciousness, this timeless state of awareness, and it is up to you humans to realize that you are timeless beings, you are eternal consciousnesses, you are infinite creators of your reality, you are the one infinite consciousness at this time in this form, but you are connected to all that is, you are all that is, you are the one. And the idea is that we could refer to this event as the realization of your timeless state. And this is why in a prior channeling, the channel did through channeling the energy of Gaia. Gaia was referring to the idea that there is no time. The event has already occurred. This is all there is. This is you. Welcome home. And the idea is that the event is the shift of the human perception into the timeless state. So from this perspective, we can say the event has already occurred. We can say it is occurring as you are becoming more aligned to this perspective. And we can say the occurrence will carry on the shift into this more aligned perspective of the idea that there is no perspective to shift into because there is no time will become more clear to you. So there is an event and there is no event. There is a shift and you have already shifted because the shift is to the timeless perception, the eternal now, the eternal present moment, the realization that you are eternal beings, all existing, coexisting on many multidimensional, infinite multidimensional planes of existence here now in this present moment. So this is the shift. This is the event from our perspective. And while we will also quickly touch in on another perspective, the channel has asked us to shed our light on, to share our perspective of, the idea of, as you are going through this event, 
as the increased acceleration of consciousness in this, at this time continues to move forward, accelerate on your planet into this new perspective of the timeless eternal now that we all, all are sharing as one infinite co-collective unified consciousness of being, as we move in this direction, the idea is that there are several chakra points, there are energy centers, there are vortex points across your earth, one being the idea of the Glastonbury Vortex, not too far from where we are shooting this film at this time. The idea is that from our perspective, the Glastonbury Vortex is that of the throat chakra, somewhat in conflict with the perspective of your local population who has for some time regarded the Glastonbury area as the heart chakra of the world from our perspective in this timing, in the midst of this event, in this shift that has occurred, is occurring and never occurred. The idea is that the Glastonbury Vortex is representing the throat chakra of your planet and there are many other areas in your reality at this time representing many other vortex point chakra points and the idea is that these areas such as the Giza Plateau, the Sedona Vortex, the Hawaii area, the Hawaii locale are major vortex points Ayers Rock, Australia, the idea of these centers, they have many ley lines protruding out of them and there are many locations across your planet that are in a sense harmonizing, ramping up, free, tuning into a new frequency, alightening, raising the planet up into a new vibrational state of being, a vi new vibrational state of consciousness. And the idea is that many of you human beings are at this time being drawn into these locations, drawn into these places for the purpose of harmonizing with these frequencies and using these frequencies in a specific way. So this is the idea of the grid. This is the idea of the vortex points. They are, in a sense, part of the consciousness of Gaia, part of the energetic body of Gaia and they are in a sense accelerating as you set accelerate and you can use these vortex points you can tune into these centers and align them with the similar centers in your own self for the upliftment of yourselves and your civilization at this time.